Hello there everybody, this is Mafinji here, and welcome to episode 1 of the Cube Crackback server. So, um, this is obviously a new series. I did speak about recording this series before though, so it shouldn't come as any surprise to you that this has appeared. But this first episode will be slightly different. Uh, when the server reset and we all got on and played, or at least three of us got on and played, I recorded a bunch of clips uh, of us derping around and mining and getting set up. And so I think the first part of this video will be a collection of those clips. And then we will get into the actual guts of the episode. So without further ado, begin the clips. Say this, stand still. Yes. No, no, no! Ah, oh, darn you. Hugo, oh, can I've you got, throw I've us got, wood? wood? I've got wood, okay. Ooh, or berries. Lovely. I've yeah. got more wood than both of you combined. Is that a euphemism? Both. Okay, that's... that's <laughs> yeah. Like, the first thing I did was I ran into a ravine and died. Gerald! There's a spider named Gerald! Ben's oh. all about the really good loot, aren't you? Yeah, I am. How do we get out of this hole? You don't. I'm just gonna start making euphemisms What's on happened? your channel. I know that. Well, my when I play with Austin, it's my channel is just full of euphemisms. The videos are just euphemisms. That's all they are. Just throw it in the ravine and, and one of us. I, did, I found out the other day. There's that religion of people, and uh, they don't eat vegetables because they think when you pull them up out of the ground, um, that they're screaming. Wow. That's a mandrake. That's basically, a, Hugo's right, that's basically what a mandrake does. Yeah, no, 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 I mean, like, seriously, there is actually yeah. a religion of people who do that. It's really A religion weird. of people? I, so are the rest of the religions of dogs? No, it's vegetables, the rest of the religion. That's oh, okay. what I was saying. The, the, the religion is about vegetables. No, the rest of the people. religions in the world. All right, guys, then don't worry. Of dogs. I've, come to, I've come to the rescue with my firm wood. Firm wood? Firm wood? Yes, my, I don't uh, want to know what you're inferring, uh, mate. <laughs> it's with great making tools. What were you thinking about? It's a little bit worrying for me. Yeah, well, I'm worried. I don't. Can I come down and join you then, or? Yeah, come down, down and join us. Do one type exclamation mark in chat. Exclamation mark. Yeah. Why? Yeah, uh, just do it. I just did it. It doesn't. It won't kill you or anything. It's just. Quite Have funny. I had? I oh, had three. zero deaths. <laughs> I have Wait, one death. You know it's not on there. What? Yeah, just type an exclamation mark. Because I haven't died yeah, yet. For me. Oh, it... I haven't died either. Yeah, I know, but did it show oh, my so death? It only shows the people who've died, right. Okay. Yeah, did it show my death? Yeah. I thought it would refill our hunger. How is this even possible? Yeah, I ran, I, I saw spruce trees and I ran to them and I fell down a ravine. Who's a and Bore Riri? They are fake players. They're boss mobs, basically. What? They, it's a, it's a mod that adds it. Does this mean PvP? Or no, it doesn't PvP. mean... PvP's on, Oscar, Oscar knocked me down the ravine. Yeah, I know, I yeah, saw I was, I was there, Ben. Mm -hmm. I don't get any ideas. Uh, I'm getting many ideas. And they're all the good. They're all good. Good. I wish I'd take this pumpkin off my hands. That hand is a lot of oh, <laughs> Damn it, Oscar. <laughs> is, is Hugo a bat already? No. I can't. Oh, there's a bat here. I want to kill it. Mine. Oscar, I was making stuff. Ogscar. <laughs> it's the Ogscast. You get alright, I'm gonna make a sword. So there goes me trying to not get any deaths this series. <laughs> Within five seconds. I die. Alright guys, I'm gonna plant a tree <laughs> in this canyon, ready? Okay, uh, as soon as we get Ooh. some iron, I'm going to make a bucket and make and bring some dirt Ooh, down for us. Nice. I'm just pelting trying to hit Oscar with snowballs. Here, I'll help. Oscar, stand still. This will only take a moment. Here, have a sword. Ow! 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 No! Ugh. Oh, there's a zombie coming down. There's a zombie. Guys, oh, don't kill, e don't kill each other. How am I rank one? I'm tied with Ben. Yeah, oh, you're rank one. Look at the Enderman. I looked at the Enderman. Come down oh, here, get in the water, get in the water. The Slender Man can't harm you when you're in the water. It's because he doesn't like bark. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to kill skeletons. I'm on one chicken yeah. nugget here. I'm on none because Oscar's now ranked first. Within you five minutes of playing, up. Oscar beats well, me at dying. <laughs> Oscar is the best at dying. Uh, just Awkward silence. Hand. Cricket noises. Lol. Kuna matara. Badam badam badam. Stop singing. There's only creepers to worry about now. 
And oh. it's that one. Oh, I got a creeper head. I'm a creeper. I'm creeper fingy now. Look. I will trade you a pumpkin for that creeper head. I'm creeper. F I killed a creeper. Like a creeper with the um. <laughs> yeah, I'm a creeper with sunglasses, Oscar. Uh, if I starve, I want you all to know that I've never liked you. <laughs> what are you saying? Come here. I have a sword. I'm on half a heart. The only one who's actually bothered to make a sword. No, Hugo. Everyone's climbing waterfalls at the moment. I'm, I'm not. Climbing water I just felt a bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I score one like, up from a Finji. I just fell two blocks and yeah, died. It, there's a giant zombie at the end of our ravine. What? Oh, is that a furious zombie? We must have we must have a, a tainted node somewhere. Ooh, I want it. That's not <laughs> Hugo. That's not <laughs> a good With thing. Stone sword and no armor. He's just gonna go in and kill this thing. I have an armor. Here's an angry an zombie. Armor. I'm just killing. Oscar, have you seen me lately? I'm wearing a iron chest plate. Looking at our skins, Ben is a mushroom, a mushroom that decided to wear clothes one day. Yeah, just Oscar. I don't broker. know what Oscar is. He's a strange robot that zipped itself up in a sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty a much sleeping bag. God, an automaton sleeping bag zombie. Yeah. Yeah, much. And Get it, Oscar. I made a, a stat. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> You walked in front of me! I was trying to help you kill the spider! You walked this is the worst me. start we've ever had to this server. <laughs> so, we are back, and I hope you enjoyed that little six minute segment. Uh, a lot did happen after that. Uh, one of the, the things that will happen, I, uh, that happened, sorry, I will show you now. I can't speak at the moment, I've been very tired since I got back from holiday, which really sort of defeats the purpose of going on holiday because you're supposed to become relaxed and enjoy yourself on holiday but I was very tired so my voice has been a little bit strange and I haven't been able to enunciate my words properly as you just heard by the way I clipped the my so this is what happened this is Oscar's hall of falling people which I have put pumpkins on it's quite funny um, if I can get on top of these statues here's a base jumping this is a base jumping Oscar. The this is another base jumping Oscar made of osmium. We uh then there's that's me made of leaves, but I'm Steve at the moment and I look really weird. Where's the creeper gone? Oh well, and then here is another Oscar who is falling and is made of osmium blocks, which was quite a waste, but oh well. Uh and he's trying to reach up and try and catch someone's hand. There are also assorted other statues down here, like there's a Hugo who's very afraid of things. There's, an, uh, there's a Hugo who is going to slice someone's head off casually. There's a slime. Then there is a Mafinji who is dancing, who is a Steve. Then there is a Mafinji made of Eulorium or attacking a zombie and falling and who got his legs tied up. Then there's a sad looking GK. And there's a breakdancing Oscar. So, that was the statue fun that we had, which was a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm just going to harvest our farm. So, the plan for this first episode is to give you a quick tour and a plan. Hugo's online, so he's pestering me. I will... What objective do I set myself? 64... Uh, stacks of diamond, diamond blocks. There we go. So I will be giving you a tour of our base and I will be telling you what the plan for this server is. So for those of you who keep up with... Oh, there's another one here. That's a falling Hugo. <laughs> um, for those of you who know, which will be very few of you, probably m even none of you, the previous iteration of the cube server was a war, and we had a war, which was very fun in the beginning, but there weren't enough people online, especially after two of our members' internet uh, got disconnected, and it still hasn't been reconnected. It's been off; They've been offline for a month now, which is very annoying for them and very annoying for us. So the plan for this server is we are all sort of working together in the community, but we all have our separate bases around spawn, so mine and Oscar's base is this underground tunnel system which will have missiles, silos, big atomic reactors, um, particle colliders, very high-tech sort of stuff. 
uh, hydroponic farms as well is something that I'm planning to do. And our first community build will be this system here, a or um, quintupling system. At the moment it's only a quadrupling system. Uh, and until we get the salination station up and running properly, it will remain that way. Uh, so, what else is there on the server? Well, there isn't really much to it. What sort? Uh, there isn't really much to it. We're going quite organic. We're all just going to live together, work together, have fun, build amazing things, hopefully, and progress through the mods. Now, as I said, this is mine and Oscar's base. The theme is very industrial, um, sort of post-Cold War bunker-esque sort of thing. And there will be lots of these around, little control stations. Like this is this top floor here is Sector 1, and this will be a power control for Sector 1. So through that we can disable this. This room here, which I haven't labelled, I maybe should label it, is the hydrogen chloride room, which was the first thing I decided to make, considering I had the resources for it. And which basically, uh, hydrogen chloride is used for the ore system, and you make it by putting brine in an electrolytic separator, um, splitting it into hydrogen and chlorine, which isn't strictly correct, but oh well and then recombining them in a chemical infuser to make hydrogen chloride which is then pumped out. I have room for five of these stations. I also have a brine input control and a hydrogen chloride out so we can choke the system for whatever reason. I can't see why. Oh, the blocks. Uh, these are all factory blocks from the chisel mod. Uh, the, the, some of them have been cut up using forge micro blocks. Uh, some of them have been made into carpenters blocks. Uh, and the floor is futuristic armor plating blocks from Chisel, and these are inverted light blue fixtures from Project Red Illumination. And then this is cobblestone that's been chiseled. Now, on the second layer, this is an elevator from Open Blocks, which is a very useful thing. Not yet. Um, if we go down here, this will be the second layer, and this is where it really starts to happen. Uh, because the first layer was a little bit too close to the surface. It's only at Y level 50, so there's only 10, 15 blocks above us until we get to the surface. And because we want to give other teams and other groups and other people time to, or space to build bunkers and basements, we have elected to move down several layers, this being the first one. Um, this second layer is probably going to house our own personal ore processing system and maybe some of our preliminary controls for the AE system and the quarry. But yes, that is the plan. Oh, and also maybe our workshop. Well, although this functions right now as a temporary workshop where we put everything. So, what to do, what to do, what to do? Well, I need to get some Thorncraft done, I think. And that will be the first project for the server. Oh, actually I should probably show you the surface as well. What we've got. Oh, hello. Spider up. Goodbye. You died quickly. Um, so our power is, at the moment, is a bunch of wind turbines, which are actually not too expensive. They all are producing just over 100 RF per tick at this particular height. Oops. Um, so right now we have 1,200 RF being produced and sent by down these universal cables which are so expensive and very annoying. Our resources are coming down this tube here, this very very long uh, item duct from our ender quarry which is being powered by two wind turbines and a an advanced solar generator. This is a waste of a solar generator but I needed a pet project at the start of the map so I decided to make an advanced solar panel. The ender quarry, how are you doing? 32.42% complete. That's fairly good, actually. Uh, it produces a lot of resources. It's a very, very. It was a very good investment. Um, although it did cost a lot of uh, paper and enchanted books, which was a pain to get. Um, we have our salination plant, our Nazi salination plant. As you can see. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I, this isn't serious, by the way. For those of you who can't take a joke, this is not serious. This is just a mistake, basically. This was the orientation that I placed the solar panels in, and I had no idea it would end up this way. 
Uh, although I will turn, I'm going to turn this salination plant in the end into a different symbol, the symbol that the swastika evolved from, which was a, I think it was a Hindu symbol actually. But this is a salination plant, and what it does is it's very cold at the moment. Why is it so cold? Oh, it was night time earlier. Is it produces brine from water, and that brine goes down obviously to become hydrogen chloride as aforementioned. Uh, this was where we started, the ravine of death, and the ravine of, of pain and suffering. Uh, Hugo is living up there, the Hugo on the mount, and he has... Oh, he made, that's why all my Osmium's missing. He's, he made an advanced solar generator. Ugh, biscuits. Uh, and then he's going to make a nice palace. As I've said, two of our members have not managed to log on at this point in time because their internet uh, has basically been completely inactive. I think a tree fell on their line and they haven't managed to get it fixed as of yet. Um, what else? Oh, uh, another member who you will all know from my PvP videos. There's an aura node here. What, what sort of aura node? Oh, that's a good node. I didn't have any um, Ignis, and I was running low on Terror as well, I think. Oh no, it was Perditio I was running low on. Um, another one of our members, Austin, who you'll recognise from my PvP, is living in this ravine here, which is dangerously close to the Ender Quarry. Um, I don't know where his stuff is, but he d does have a fantastic ravine, double ravine, that was that is full of mine shafts and very, very nice things, and death as well, actually, lots of death. Yes. 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 Speak. Speak now or forever hold your peace. No, I shouldn't try and do accents. That's terrible. I'm very bad. So, uh, Thorncraft. What I would like to do uh, is to get some Thorncraft done, as I said, and specifically boots off the Traveller because I am feeling slow. So, I will be back maybe in the next episode with that, or maybe if I have time I will put some more in this episode.